Hi. Hi. I'm from Swan Tower, so secondary one from NS High School. I'm going to see nine little problems from, from Irving Primary School, so here we we'll start with continuing words. Our English rhetoric. And? Similes. Words? So for similes, we're still going on with our sounds. Yes. Sound. So for this part of sounds, what can we have first? So we can have... Okay, so you start first. What would you like? Sounds like something. But what's that something? Sounds like the hum of wind. Ah, wind? Wind is so soft. What's your thing? Well, wind is very soft. It's very soft. It's true. Cause you can't hear the wind right now, though. But let's see. Have you finished it through an open car window? Okay, so through an open car window might not be very loud, although not quiet. Wait, 100 miles per hour. Are you serious? 100 miles per hour? There will and then be, it'll be like, whoosh. Like that. There will be around 160.9 km per hour. Isn't that well, the most, if not your car crash? Possible, right? So, for every minute, you'll be like around 2 km already. Yeah, that will be very fast. And if you're uncareful, then you'll be like... Car crash. And that So, this is my... telling you that it is very, very loud. Yup. Yeah. What can I use for this? It is very loud. Goes right. What can be loud? On um, honk. Honk honk. Do you actually want that? Although you hate it, but it's very loud. It's like this. Whereas here is the place you press its rubber, but well, here very loud like honk honk. And usually it will be annoying. Yeah, the annoying, annoying one. It is indeed, indeed very annoying. But sometimes if they have this tube down here, then it's an air horn. But you need that for like competitions, like it signals the start, it goes boom. Like, most of them black for or cars. red. And ready to make it to white, of course. Okay, can I read this out? My head is going to explode so now I like that it sounds like the hum of wind through an open car window. At 100 miles per hour. Boom! Okay, so this is what you have. Seems very long, but it's very descriptive. Yep. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So at this part, my head is going to explode sooner or later. So sooner or later, it's just like a phrase. It is used in a phrase. If it just used to explode, sooner doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound very great, right? Yeah, it's like it's going to explode. It's like after one or two times, it's straight away going to explode. To explode later, well, it also doesn't sound very good, right? Yeah, I means that. But if you say to explode sooner or later, means sound very descriptive, right? Yeah, it means that you, it can burst any time. So in this like, part, how about you give it the next one? Okay, I can say it is silent. Wait, only here because here is already one line. It's down here, okay? You start from right here. Silence. 
present as a mountain. What's a lawn? Lawn. So lawns, well, you may learn it from different places, right? You may learn it from games, like to tell you this lawn, there's something coming. That lawn, there's something coming. Like in your backyard, there's, so, there's different lawns. Maybe swimming pool. And right? you get you should get something off. So this lawn means that quiet. Just the quiet. Lawn is just like a whole row of like can be real grass, can be fake grass. But okay? you know field, right? So don't call this lawn and field. Lawn is like a field One that row. is lawn is like a miniature field. So it's just like divided, right? But what type of miniature is not so big because so small? It's only a little bit so smaller, not so. Just like in one rows. Yeah. But wait, what word is this? This is quiet. Quiet. So it's very quiet. Okay, so it is very quiet. That's right. Okay, I can say, and you're gonna write it. So, what do you want? Okay, so I can say that had speak louder. You are silent as a mountain dog. Okay. So, okay. So there you go with that part, right? Speak louder, you are silent as a mountain lawn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying that you are very quiet. That's it, right? Yep. So for the next part that I'm going to give, what could it be? Hollow. Hollow as. Hollow as what? Do you know hollow as what? Hollow as ghost armor. A ghost armor. Hollow as ghost armor. You know, well, this, is, clang, 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 clang. this is just like in fantasies, right? Yep. Like, actually, like, actually ghosts don't I really read, exist, right? I know, right? And actually, you know, uh, in the kingdom of fan, I'm. Yeah, the dragon of fortune. There's actually the ray. That one, which is actually also ghost armor, actually. Wait, so you're saying the Phoenix of Destiny? There is a ghost, right? Not exactly. It's the dragon of fortune with Mel the Magnificent. Wait, that okay, is so the ghost knight, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, hollow so as the armor, and of course the armor can clink, clank, clink, clank. Yes. So this part, hollow as a ghost's armor. So what does it mean? Wait, so ghost's armor, ghosts like, inside, they're just like invisible, right? Yeah, but the so armor you, keep clinging. So, so when you try to see it, you just feel, wow, it's... It's just a flying armor. So it's very hollow, right? It's like, and in fact, the sound is actually very low inside. It's yeah. just inside it's all hollow. Then when you knock it, well, it can sound very low, right? Yeah. So basically this is describing sound. Whether is it like high pitch or is it like low pitch? Right? Okay. So this sound it is very low, right? Yeah. Then you can say what can you say about this? So what can be hollow as a ghost armor? Hollow as a ghost's armor. So you're saying that something sounds very low. Okay.
So you can write it like this, right? It sounds hollow as a ghost's armor, right? Yes. So this is what you can have for this sentence, right? So in describing something sounds very low, it sounds very sad, right? Yep. So what do you want for now? I want another silent. Silent as what? What do you want to be silent? So... What is it? I'm saying about a type of creature, a type of mystical creature. Mystical creature? Yeah. Phoenix? Um, no. Dragons? During Christmas, we're definitely near. Most probably, you'll say about it. Hey, the green elves? Yeah. Miss said, silent as the how about, elves. How about Why? silent as Santa? Oh. Because Santa goes in quietly, sends you the gifts. Um, not really, because so when it's over, up in the sky, it doesn't really that quiet. Okay. Silent as the Because all the trap, all the presents of are hitting each other. Okay, so you got silent as the elves, right? Yeah. Meaning just silent. Yep. So. Oh, sentence. I can say that this place is silent as the elves. But it's quite boring though. But it's quite boring. Anyway, then let's tell you if you want to add more exclamation to uh, exaggeration to exaggeration. that. Exaggeration. Yeah, exaggeration to that sentence you can and, and add a exclamation mark if you want. But it's you also can do If you add it behind, then it's also a capital. But is there a capital? Okay. Okay, how about you write this now? I'm going to tell you one thing about it, okay? Okay. So, at this part, I think we can have something about hollow, right? Okay. Hollow, write it down first. Hollow as... What is this? I hollow? You are very hollow? Hollow as the actor's laugh. What? What do you say is the actor's laugh? Well, when the actor try to laugh. When the actor try to laugh, what do you think of it? Um, there's a lot of different kind of laughing. Okay, so when you just... People happy a lot. So, this is saying about... So, if he laugh, if the actor laugh, we, sometimes we say, laughter is contagious. What does it mean? It means that sometimes when we laugh, the other person also start to laugh. Okay, that is one meaning. Yes, that is laughter is contagious. Like chicken pox is also sometimes contagious. Okay, yes, chicken pox is of course contagious. But wait, hollow as the actors laugh. When the actor laughs, do you feel like laughing? Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. But most of the time, not actually, right? Yeah. Did you realize that? Yeah. So a lot of times when you watch the play, they go ha ha ha. You don't go anything. Yeah. Sometimes because of because they bully, sometimes because they evil laugh. But no, even if they're just laughing, you also don't feel like that most of the time. Um yeah. Yeah. So this is describing actors laugh. This says the opposite of that. Laughter is contagious. Here's the opposite. They say a hollow. Hollow inside is empty. Well, it can be just like Laugh for no meanings, right? Yeah, and then you like, don't feel like laughing at all. It's like nothing happened. Laugh. 
then you're most probably still done. Is that person crazy or what? Okay, so that means this is not contagious. Well, this so like for love. you can write this. Why not you? Okay, so the meaning is. So it is just like not out spreading. Okay. Or even not contagious, right? So this is saying about not out spreading. So we're saying that it does not spread towards outside. Well, you might ask, how is this related to a sound? Of course, a laugh is related to a sound, right? Yep. And this sound, when you hear it, you don't feel like doing it. Although like laughing, they'll feel like laughing. Yeah, although, yawning, they feel like yawning. Yeah, it's true. It's weird that when we yawn, the people that look at us also most of, like them are, most of them will feel like yawning. So this is not outspreading. Something that doesn't spread out, or at least it doesn't spread out very quickly, maybe or it just spread out very spread few, out. right? Yeah, maybe like that guy laughing. Oh yeah. Hey, how about this play is hollow as the actors laugh? This play, right? Yep. Because sometimes plays, if it is very good, you want to re recreate it, right? Yep. You use it for recreation, right? Yeah. So then you just keep on trying to change it into your own version. But if it is not interesting, it will not be outspreading. Something like, you know, a lot of kids like to read a lot of different kind of books. And some people, uh, what they like to read? Grandma Stilton? Maybe. Yeah. There are many different types of books that children like to read. Yep. So, how about that? So, what your sentence? So, you just write it down, okay? Okay. So, for this one, how long is the actor's laugh? Hey, you're saying about something in this... How about the play? The play. The play is how long is the actor's laugh? It is not interesting. Hey, if you want to use a actor, this is a vowel, right? So it's an actor's laugh. Laugh, okay. It is not interesting. Wrong spelling. Interesting. I think you need to write to the next line for here. Okay. So you got it there. Okay, so you have this part. So this is hollow as an actor's laugh. Okay. So maybe the students may just fall asleep. The audience yeah. may just fall asleep, right? Yeah, right. So for this part, just to make it clearer, I'm just moving it in front. So next time you have the viewer, I'll be crazy, okay? So this says it is not interesting, or if you want some exaggeration, at all. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is the part that you have. Now we have all these similes, so I think we're going to end it here, right? Okay, so now we are end here. Next time we'll continue. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button below. And thank, thank you for watching.